The Sooners have taken their lumps this season. Not only did they endure two very uncharacteristic losses, but they also lost their best offensive weapon in Ryan Broyles. Nothing will heal those wounds, but a bedlam win would go a long way. Caden has more from Norman. In its last 72 games, OU has been favored 69 times. Despite winning eight straight in the Bedlam series, the Sooners will not be favored Saturday in Stillwater. OU facing the nation's third-ranked team on the road and shorthanded without the services of Ryan Broyles or Ron L. Lewis. But if Bob Stoops is worried, he sure doesn't sound like it. But we'll go in confidently. Uh, if that's what you're asking me, we're we're a, we're a bunch that you know has have, have been over there plenty of times and uh, and understand the challenge of it, respect the challenge of it. But I believe our team's also excited about it. I'm fully confident in everybody. You know, from the offensive line to the receivers to the tight ends to Landry to Roy to Brandon to Brandon. I mean, I'm confident in everybody that we can we can definitely get the job done. In a conference full of great offenses, OSU's the best the Sooners have seen all year. Well, they got great skill, great backs, best offensive line, uh, great, great quarterback. Uh, it's a great system, one with a lot of experience coming back, one that's been, you know, uh, incredibly successful. So it's a great, great challenge for us. We know they got a lot of weapons. You know, a lot of guys in their offense are stepping up. But um, we know that our defense, you know, when we're, we're, when we're clicking, I mean, it's hard to, to get plays on us. So we just got to be focused this whole week. A national championship out of the question for the preseason number one. But a win Saturday salvages a whole lot. Yeah, there's only one team that had any, had any downs, and, and that's out of 110. So uh, we've had two, and uh, so we'll see if we can't, you know, play to a better level and have a chance to beat those guys. Caden McFarland, 2 News works for you.